We are right in the thick of fall garden planting. So about two and a half weeks ago, I planted a lot of seeds for my fall garden. I haven't really had a fall garden before. I've had a little bit here and there. This is my first time that I'm really trying to invest some time into a fall garden, see how it works. There are some benefits to the fall garden. One, not as many bugs, sometimes no bugs. So you don't have to worry about a lot of your crop being invaded by insect predators. And it's not as hot. Um, it is not fun to work in a garden when it's hot. So you probably know that. Um, second, or third, third I guess, is you don't have to worry about your plants, um, I guess, overheating from not enough water because it's not as hot. So these are some good things about a fall garden. You can still plant seeds in parts of the country. I've already planted my seeds and I may try to do some more seeds in a small, um, I guess, greenhouse or green tunnel that... Um, I have a hoop house basically, a hoop tunnel, um, but I am planting some starter plants today. So we have the normal plants that I'm going to be doing. Kale, so I'm planting kale, which kale is pretty common these days, so most people plant kale. I'm planting some cauliflower, which we loved our cauliflower this summer. What else am I planting that's pretty regular? planting some broccoli. So those are typical plants to plant in your fall garden. I've planted those before. I've had success with, with my cauliflower and broccoli, definitely. Not as much success with kale. I'm hoping in the fall it's going to be easier for my kale. But I am going to grow three plants I have never grown before. That's what I always try to do is grow something different and have fun doing it. So here is my first plant that I've never planted before. Can anyone guess what it is? Brussels sprouts, that's right, Brussels sprouts. Um, I guess they were famous or infamous for kids hating Brussels sprouts. You better eat your Brussels sprouts. But let me tell you what, they are so good. I am pretty excited to see this plant since the sprouts kind of grow on the stem, it is a great fall plant to get going. I'm excited to try Brussels sprouts. Another thing I try to do with my garden is grow stuff that I don't always buy at the store. So I do not buy Brussels sprouts at the store that often. But if I grow them, I'm going to make sure that my family and I eat every single Brussels sprout that I grow. So I'm excited. So that's one uncommon plant to plant in your fall garden. The second one I'm planting that's uncommon is, well, that's more Brussels sprouts, so not that. The second plant I am planting that is uncommon is Chinese cabbage. That's right, Chinese cabbage. It kind of looks like that if it grows right. So I am going to grow some Chinese cabbage. Um, we grew some cabbage this spring and I found out my family doesn't eat a lot of cabbage. Um, we ate some of it, but a lot of it was animal food, which was great. It kept our goats and pigs happy. So we are planting Chinese cabbage, another uncommon fall plant that I am going to have some fun with. Another uncommon plant, is kohlrabi that's right i've seen this in at the grocery store i've never bought it in a store before i have probably had it mixed in with something at a restaurant but i've never grown kohlrabi before so i am excited for this awesome plant it has a bulb like stem it has a sweet mild flavor well i'm out in my garden now i've planted most of my fall veggies but there's one plant I forgot to tell you about. This is the fourth uncommon plant to plant in your fall garden. Radicchio, that's right. Such a cool name for this plant. Radicchio, Radicchio. Kind of makes you want to sing, doesn't it? 
So I've never planted this before either, but it says on the um, info on the back here, forms cabbage-like heads of dark red, strong flavored leaves. So I've had this before, I'm pretty sure, in salads and things like that, but I've never grown it. So again, the four uncommon plants that I'm planting in my garden this fall. First, we got the radicios. We got the Brussels sprouts. We got the kohlrabi. And then we got the Chinese cabbage. So if you want to try something a little bit different in your fall garden, I say try those plants. And most importantly, just have fun with your fall garden. Like I said earlier, you don't have to worry about bugs as much. You don't have to worry about the heat. You don't have to worry about your plants drying out. Um, it's a much more enjoyable time to garden, especially um, the next few months. It's not going to be cold yet where I live. It's going to be brisk, but not cold. So get out there, plant a fall garden, and enjoy it. If you like our channel, Please subscribe, comment if you have any ideas about fall gardening. If there's something you're planting that I haven't thought of, let me know. I'm always open to advice and suggestions. I want to help you become a better gardener, but I want you to help me become a better gardener as well. So we will see you in the future. This is Tom from Whistle Thicket.